So this is another prime example for why bone grafting is needed. Sinus infection right here. How are we going to go ahead and explain this to the patient, right? Patient on this panel right here, you can see there's inflammation in the maxillary sinus uh, right along tooth number three. X-rays uh, revealed, PAs revealed uh, an infection at the tooth itself. Uh, I have a CBCT, so that definitely showed it as well. But even without a CBCT, you can clearly see that. So how I presented it to the patient, we know the tooth can't be saved because it has a post running straight through the middle of it. So we have to take this tooth out. Uh, we want to go ahead and bone graft it, but how do we explain it to the patient? So I kind of brought it up. Look, this tooth right here, we have to get it taken out. We have a massive infection. And I wanted to ask you, have you ever had any type of sinus issues or you feel like you get sick? And patient says to me, oh my God, I have sinus issues only on my right side all the time. Bingo, right there. This is caused by the infection itself. It's not caused by the patient getting sick or anything like that. Inflammation tied to this tooth, clearly evident in the photo. So you explain that to the patient, why this tooth has to come out. And it just makes complete sense at that point because they can connect two and two together. And that was the exact situation that I explained to the patient about how lots of times when you have infections that are in the maxillary, you may have symptoms if it is close enough or if it busts through the sinus floor, you may have symptoms like you feel like you're getting sick or you have a running nose or allergies, but in reality, that's not the case. You gotta put two and two together and explain things like that to the patient and they're more likely to get treatment started. And that was exactly the case for this patient right here.